Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me, the King of the Funkos. This is another episode of our um, Funko collection that we have purchased for just under £1,000. Um, it was about the 850 mark. Um, I originally thought we were going to do three videos. It looks like it's going to be four. I have kind of um, underestimated um, how many pops there are. So in this spot, um, one we're going to do four boxes. The next video we're going to do two, but you will understand why we're doing two because it looks like... Um, there's like a stack of two boxes. Um, and then in the last one, it looks like we're going to do five. So, um, like I said, it cost about £850. I think it's our second biggest collection that we purchased. Um, I bought it from the local area. Um, and there's a lot of pops in here that we haven't opened yet. That I am looking to keep, um, which is mainly my Disney. Um, and a few others. Um, so, without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm hoping that the videos aren't going to go on for absolutely ages. Um, and as I said, there will be some duplicates for sure um, in here. So, the first pop we have is Mr. Incredible from Incredibles 2. Um, I actually already have a few from this film. Um, but, uh, Mr. Incredible is our first pop. So a nice Disney start. Um, then we have the FYE exclusive Elastigirl. It is the remix um, uh, pop. Now I do have a few of these. I don't have this one. Um, I don't own any of them. It's that I'm actually selling these ones. Um, there is a tiny bit of damage but nothing major. Um, but again, can't complain with this pop. Then we have... Uh, Cyborg Superman. Now this looks pretty cool. Um, this is a nice uh, DC pop. Um, it's a little bit of a, a remix, of course, of Cyborg and Superman. Um, and of course, we saw both in Justice League. Tiny bit of uh, damage at the bottom, but I did know that this was kind of like an eight and a half um, out of ten sort of box. But like I said, I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> um, then we have another duplicate. I think, I'm pretty sure we had this in the first um, first video, and that is Harry Potter from the Quidditch World Cup. Again, um, a nice pop, not something that I'm going to keep, but still nice to add to the cell collection. Um, now, this is a pop that I might be actually uh, buying, but signed through Funkotopia. Uh, it might have already um, arrived if I've bought it, um, and that is Darth Vader. Um, this is the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty um, exclusive. Uh, nice pop. Definitely one of my favourite Darth Vader's. It actually looks like Darth Vader. Very hard to see with the lighting, etc. Unless I was to take it out. Which, I won't lie, if I had an hour to video every video, I would take every single one out, I promise. Um, but still, nice one to add. Then we have another Star Wars from the uh, Smuggler's Bounty. And that is Grand Moff. Tarkin. Now it's quite clear this comes from the exact same um, Smuggler's Bounty um, and I have had this one before. Oh. Then the last one we have from this uh, box is Western Rick. Now this does have some damage. Um, it's just creased in there. So um, nothing major. It's going to devalue it a tiny bit. I mean if you've got an iron you probably could iron it out but at the end of the day these Rick and Morty pops aren't always that expensive anyway. So, let's chuck the black box and go on to this. Now, what do we have here? Let's start off with the duplicate that we already have. And that is, oh, actually I say that, it's a, a bit better one. Because this one is only at a Walmart exclusive sticker. Um, this is the Captain America. I say it's a bit better because the other one was just a special edition. I do prefer my American stickers. I don't know why. Let me know if you guys do prefer the American or the just special edition. But a nice pop. Then we have, I think this is going to be Falcon. No, it's going to be Vulture, sorry. Um, this is from the 80 Years um, Marvel. Um, and this is, of course, Vulture. Then we have a 2018 full convention exclusive. 
This is from I Am Wonder Woman. Um, and it is, as you can guess, Wonder Woman herself. Um, now, I'm not sure what to think of this. This is all gold around. Um, I've not actually seen this pop before. Um, but it's a little bit different. Um, I'm not too sure. I like the pop itself. I'm just not sure about the box. Then we have our favourite Black Panther pop of all time. Apart from one other Marvel pop, which is Maria Rambo. But we have Eric Killmonger. I say it's our favourite because we always seem to get it in every single box. Whether it's a mystery box, whether it's a um, um, a collection. This pop always seems to be in the bloody thing. And then a really nice Disney pop that I am keeping. Um, this is one because it has Disney logo. And two, it's a pop I need. And it's a Yamza from the new Groove. Now... Um, I do need this, so this is a bonus to add to our Disney collection. Oh, please don't fall on the floor. Then we have a sneeze. <coughs> Bless me, I do apologise. Um, we will start with this one because I know we've had this one a few times. This is Chet from uh, Spastic Plastic Funko and a pop culture exclusive um like i said we've had this a few times there is the gray version i think this is the yep the green version i'm not sure which one is more value but as you would have seen in a lot of uh, the video the prices will be up there um but again quite a nice easy one to kind of um sell now we're getting into some good pops uh one of my favorites and i sold this one when i had um another collection that i purchased a few months back um and i was gutted when i sold it um now i have it again and this one might have to stay and it is from diablo it's tyrell um now i absolutely love diablo as a game i did say in the previous video i didn't want to start collecting gaming pops but when they are just as good as this um i don't know if i actually want to sell this one again and then we have rick and morty we have a bird person um i have no idea i've never watched rick and morty it's never really fascinated me whatsoever but everyone seems to uh like rick and morty and if you do that's a choice um not something that i'm looking into watching or collecting but some of their pops are quite funny um and i mean i just find this one funny because of the bird person's nipples um, I'm not going to lie, um, it kind of looks like my nipples, uh, a bit fat and a bit flabby. <laughs> um, now this is a really nice pop, I do, uh, I've do. i just started watching um, this um, animation, um, this one was the one that I knew had um, quite a bit of damage, and it is from One Punch Man, it is a terrible tornado. Um, it's mainly got all its damage on the back, but this is a really nice pop. I do have the Moon Moon Rider from One Punch Man, um, so I probably will uh, look to potentially keep this one, um, unless I can find a better boxed one. And the final pop from this box is, um, <laughs> this is quite a nice pop actually, I didn't even know this one was in it. It's an Entertainment Earth exclusive diamond collection, and... It ain't nothing but hell, dog. We have Elvis Presley. Well, Elvis 68 comeback special. We know it's Elvis Presley. Um, now, I'm not necessarily a massive fan of Elvis Presley, but I do appreciate some of the um, the good um, uh, pops that they have made of him. Sorry, I was just reading because I've never seen that before. Um, so, a really nice um, pop for sure. Oh my days, didn't realise we had this many in here. But we do have a pop in here that we're keeping. And it's not this one. <laughs> so, the first one we have is the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. It is Gamora, who's probably one of my favourite uh, Marvel characters. But, um, not a pop that I'm going to be keeping, but still... A nice pop and I've not seen this one before 
then a pop that we've had a few times, and this is from the uh, New York um, Comic Con. This is Missandei from Game of Thrones. It again, has the uh, Poptopia, um, but not something that I will keep. Then a pop that I am definitely keeping. It is the Mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a Disney pop. Um, another one that I needed for my collection, so I will be adding it to the uh, ever-growing Disney collection. Jesus Christ, there's a lot in this box. Then we have um, Steve Trevor from uh, Wonder Woman 84, which is, of course, the new Wonder Woman that has just come out, uh, which I haven't seen yet. Um, but, uh, of course, this is the one of the main characters in Wonder Woman. Then we have a really quite nice Star Wars pop. This is a only at Walmart exclusive. This is M5R3. Now, I won't lie, I get so confused with all of these kind of droids because there are so many um, that I start losing count. The only one that I really knew was R2-D2. Then what shall we go for? We should go for a little bit of a damaged one. But this is the Yellow Jacket Glow in the Dark Amazon exclusive. Now, it has a tiny bit of ja um, damage here. This was the one that I remember him saying um, did have some damage as well. But I don't know how much uh, value this one holds. But yet, this looks like quite a nice pop. Then we have another marble. We have Unmasked Gwenpool. Now, not biggest fan of Gwenpool. However, I do quite like the cartoony anime um back of this pop um but again not a pop i'll be looking to keep then we have funnily enough this pop um i've got the normal version i now have the chase version and it is lloyd christmas from dumb and dumber um now of course this is jim carrey's character um and jim carrey is probably one of the best actors uh, around as far as a comedian so really good pop really nice to have now we've got seven more to go. And this is another duplicate. It is of the Piccolo FYE exclusive. Um, I think we had that in the first episode. And we now have it in the second episode. Another Star Wars um, we have is, uh, funnily enough, we were just talking about him. It is R2-D2. And this is the uh, Valentine's edition. Uh, not a fan of this at all. Um, but everyone to themselves. Then we have my least favourite kind of pop, and it is the gold chrome pops, but we have Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, not one that I am looking to uh, collect, um, because I can't stand gold chrome pops. Then we have um, Captain Atom, the WonderCon edition. There is some damage on the back, but nothing of significant damage. Um... Quite a nice pop, not, again, something that I will be looking to keep. Then, the chase version of this looks awesome. Um, but we have, of course, uh, Venom from Venom. Um, of course, this could go up in value quite soon when Venom 2 is released. Um, but this is the Pop in the Box exclusive. And it did have a glow-in-the-dark chase version, I believe. Then we have actually quite a nice colour. I think it's like a turquoise purple colour. But we have um, a Hulk Chrome um, as well. This is a Walmart exclusive um, uh, pop, I think. Then. I think I've been saying them wrong. I said only at Walmart. I, this is um, GameStop, isn't it? What a donkey. And the final pop we have is one of my favourite games, and I actually used to watch this anime a lot as a kid, and it is Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I only really cared about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, but I also did appreciate the original Yugi, um, so it is quite a cool pop. Um, maybe one that I'll keep, because it will kind of remind me of my childhood, because this is what I used to watch. Um... But that is it for this video. That is all the pops um, that we have um, unraveled. Um, again, we're going to do the guest, the Lindel game. 
and there's a lot um, on this one. So I'm going to say that her favourite is going to be... I'm going to shoot myself because if the first video I find out that she likes Marvel, then I'm screwed. But the fact that I know she wanted this pop, the newer version, the 2021 pop, I'm going to say Yamza might be her favourite pop. Purely because I remember seeing something that she didn't quite get the um, Comic Con um, when the new groove came out, I think. So I'm going to say Yamza. Um, but let me know what your favourite was. Uh, comment that down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, like this video. Until next time, guys, I shall see you all.